boot floor sort of delves in. I actually cannot believe how well this has come out. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the next episode on the Mini. Alright, this is me from the future. Um, I know this has taken a long time to get this video out. But um, yeah, I've just been taking a break and stuff. I, I bought another project. I'll show you it here in the meantime. And um, I bought it off Copart. And I had an absolute nightmare with the whole thing. It was advertised as running and driving. And I just fought with it constantly to try and get it to run and drive. It just would not go at all. Like I, I mean, I, it worked perfectly one minute. It wouldn't work the next. I, I fi ended up fixing the whole thing. But it wasn't very interesting to watch, to be honest. I wanted to actually restore the whole car, but it, it just really got away from me. I ended up just having to sell it. So yeah, and then um, finished the Mini. The Mini was finished. You get to see it completely finished in this video, which is, and it looks really good, and it drives really well. I won't ruin it. Um, but yeah, we're back on it now, so stay tuned. You can see it's dry, and um, and the bonnet and the boot leather painted. Yeah, so in this episode, we've got a little bit of um, orange peel in places, so we're going to be uh, sanding the car back, buffing it, um, just wet and dry, and then buff it up. Hopefully, that gets rid of most of it. I'm not, I'm not looking for like a amazing finish. We're going to be putting in all the headlights, hopefully the grill. All the trim pieces, hopefully the windows. We've got to put the headlining in before we can put the windows in. All the rear lights, everything around. Oh, there's loads of bits. All the trim pieces have got to go in the car. Let's get to it. Just want to say a quick thank you so much to everybody who's watching. This is, um, if you're liking this sort of stuff and me doing stupid things like trying to paint the car in my shed, please subscribe. Let's go.
All right, so we finally got the number plates, which means this thing is almost ready to go back on the road. I'm gonna put these on and then um, hopefully take it for a test drive. Alright, so we just got back from the MOT station and unbelievably it passed. I mean, not unbelievably, obviously it was going to pass, wasn't it? Um, it passed with, I mean, he glossed over a few things like the washer fluid didn't work. The tyres are quite old, they were on they're all advised because they're, they're slightly perished. Um, but yeah, it passed. No issues really. Drives great, you can hear it running now. It's running really well. There's a slight little rattle coming from something that I think I haven't done up properly. But it's just like a screw rattling or something. You can hear it here. I mean, it's running perfectly. Uh, all the lights are working. It looks great from the outside. The interior is, well, there isn't much to it really. It's got um, no back seats in it, just the front seats. I'm not sure if that's allowed on the MOT, but they let that go. Um, but yeah. I'll turn it off for now. Yeah, it's running great. Absolutely fantastic. It goes really well. Stops. Mm, okay. It's got no servo on this car, so the, the brakes aren't amazing. But it's looking great. So I'm just going to finish up the interior bits. Clear everything out. Put a bit of underlay down because it's it's, the road noise is quite bad in there. You can hear the engine quite badly as well without any of the dashboard in. So we're going to put all that in. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Also, I forgot to mention I changed the front suspension donuts. I think I've got a picture of it somewhere. Um, a picture of the old ones that came off of it. You see they're now sitting nice and high like it should have done. This new ones at the front and new ones at the back. I say new, I think I new new to the car. Um but the old ones were awful. I don't know if they were made to be like that, so it was they were it was lowered, but anyway. These are looking really good. I didn't film any of that, it was a bit of a bit of a slog to be honest. But um I used a luckily um one of the guys here managed to dig out from his shed, I think it was his dad's tool, an old um com donut compressor thing, which um helped really well. Yeah. Let's get to the interior.
All right, so sorry it's been so long. Um, the Mini has gone. It was an absolutely great car. Honestly, I drove it around for a, a few weeks and it was perfect. It actually, it, one of the best ones I've ever driven. And um, so I put it up for sale and it sold literally like that. It sold so quickly. Yeah, I hope the new owners of it are happy with it because it really is a nice car. But, so I've just been taking a bit of time off, to be honest with you. Um, doing lots of things. I have bought another car. There it is. Um, I'm. It's not really a project. There's not really anything to do to it. It's sort of in immaculate condition. Uh, I'm just driving it around and uh, if anyone wants to buy it, they can buy it off me, but yeah. So the Mini's gone, going to be buying some other projects, going to be working on the Spitfire still. Um, we're going to get back to it, so um, yeah, definitely stay tuned. There's going to be some new project coming. If you want to see more things like that, let me know. I might even dig my Allegro out of its resting place. I'll show you actually. So this is my 1979 Austin Allegro. It's pretty um, overgrown in here. I have been, I did look at it the other day and it, yeah. I was going to jump start it, but I can't find the keys. I've completely lost the keys for it, so then it sat for another however long. Um, God, yeah, it's just <laughs> completely overgrown. I mean, look at that. We might get this started, see if we can drive it out of here. So, yeah, um, keep watching. There's going to be some good projects happening. Thank you very much for watching guys, um, subscribe if you're liking these sort of builds, going to be doing more restoration stuff and, and maybe more just buying and selling things like that all the way up there, you probably can't see it, um, and rescuing things that shouldn't be rescued.